We're doing the best that we can in any possible minute, moment of our lives. We know that thing for sure, with no doubt, that the best thing that we can do is to distribute the light of Hashem, the light of Torah, the light of Emunah among our loved ones. So many people are thirsty, so many people desiring goodness, and they recognize words of truth from within, because inside of you there is a great reflection of the world, and the world is enjoying the beams of light that are shining from your heart as well. And every person is a small world. And you should know that when you correct yourself and when you fix yourself and when you take responsibility, being a better person, being kind, more kind, being more nice, being more generous, loving, and, and, and expressing your wisdom, so the light is shining from you, from your end, to the other side of the world. And, and you can never know how strong and powerful your effect, you will affect the world. The light is hidden because the world is, is thick and heavy. And God works in mysterious ways. And He made all this world to swallow and block the light for a purpose. And what's that purpose? The faith, the faith is in the nights. You cannot believe in something that you can see. Here, you see that I have books behind me. Do you need to believe that I have a bookcase over there? You don't need to believe. I'll tell you, hey guys, I have a bookcase full of Torah books in my house. Oh yeah, I believe him. You don't need to believe. It's a, it's a joke to believe me on that. You can see that with your eyes. You don't need to believe in that. You need to believe me if I'm going to tell you that I read all those books. You're going to say, nah, I don't believe you. I don't buy that. All those books he read, no, I don't buy that. That your faith is on something mysterious, something that you don't know. So the Creator, he didn't want us only to enjoy the world and swallow the world. He also wanted us to have a spiritual connection. And a spiritual connection must be hidden must be based on faith, based on something that you cannot see. And therefore the world is blocking the light. So you cannot always see the outcomes and the great results of your wonderful actions. But you should believe. So if for an example, and I'm going to try to, to like explain it in a way that people will be able to understand. If for an example, you like to eat a certain fruit, an apple for an example, and you take that fruit and you treat it with honor, with respect. You wash that fruit and you, let's say, say the blessing on that fruit. And you're eating it and you have appreciation and gratitude. And you don't throw the, the leftovers of that fruit on the floor, on the ground. You just respect it and you put it aside. You put it in the garbage. You wrap it properly. You do things in a, in a respectful way. So by that, you are pulling, you are passing a huge amount of light and blessing to that branch of creation, to fruits, to apples. Now, it's not only that the sellers of apples or the farmers that are growing apples in their fields will enjoy also, all the rest of the apple's aspects will enjoy the blessing of your actions. So if there is a little child that is sitting in school in first grade or second grade, and he will now try to illustrate, to paint an apple tree, so now the apple trees will come out lovely in his picture. The colors will be beautiful for him. The trees will, will bloom in his picture. And he will be super satisfied and he will not lose that paper on his way back home to show it to his parents. But if you, God forbid, a person forgot about respecting the fruit and he will crush the fruit, he will throw it with his anger to the ground, he will disrespect the apple, that kid might lose the painting on his way back home and he will cry and the trees will cry, and the farmers will cry, because you made them cry. 
That's our responsibility to the world. And when you are good and you reveal your goodness, so you're shining the light of your soul to all the channels that are depend on your soul. If you're a woman, so you have power to affect all women around the world, all feminine side around the world. If you are, uh, if you are a Torah learner, if you love to learn Torah, you have a desire and passion to the Torah. When you learn Torah, you are channeling the light, not only you are receiving wisdom from the book. You're, the light is going back, is hitting back, it's reflecting back to the book itself. And the letters, they are spiritual. You're shining back into those verses, into those lines, into those sugiot, or Gemara, or Talmud, or, or, or Zohar Kadosh, or books of Hasidut that you learn. You're shining back the light of your soul into the books. And then other books, in different bookcases, in different libraries, in different Batei Midrashot, in different houses, are shining the light of your understanding. Now, you will sit with an open book in your house and you're going to learn something and suddenly after a few minutes of focusing and thinking about that part, that portion, and you say, oh, now I got it. It's so amazing. Wow, it's such a great deep understanding. And you don't know what you just have done. Someone else in the other side of the universe will open the book and he will read the same part, the same portion, and for him, that will be the simple understanding. You say, oh, wow, yeah, that's great. If you wouldn't bring down that light, he wouldn't understand that in the world. He would just read it and he said, oh, I don't get it. And he would close the book frustrated. But now, because that you put effort and you worked hard with your labor, with your effort to bring that light of Torah to your mind, the light reflected back to the book, and when another person in a different state, in a different side of the globe, opens the same book or reading the same verse, the verse will shine to him, and he will understand it based on your understanding, because you are the one who brought down that light now to the world. And the world is shining and shining back. Those are reflections of light, and it depends on the intentions and the purity of the heart of the person. And that's why you don't need to be judgmental about yourself because you are appointed on certain things. You cannot hate yourself for not being taller, for not being a, a brunette or blonde or wealthier or healthier because you have certain territories, zones that is the natural ones that you've been created as part of that you are in charge of on those. You sending lights into those places, into those reflections that depends on you. So if you belong to a certain country, to a certain society, certain community, certain population, certain financial uh, um, level, group, I don't know, like if you belong to people with certain accent, with certain culture, if you have certain knowledge, if you work in a certain occupation, certain, certain qualities, you have certain hobbies, you are influencing those ones. You like to play basketball. When you're succeeding in your life, all the people that has a connection to basketball, they're gaining something from you. You like skateboarding? All people who love skateboarding, when you're succeeding and you're being uplifted and you're rising, they're getting something from your development. And that's why you need to be so happy because the creation is spiritual. And even though that the spirit is hidden and the light is sometimes mysterious, you should know and you should believe. And that's the work of the true believers that God is here with us and he works in mysterious ways, but most definitely doing and revealing his goodness around the world. Thank you, beautiful creations of Hashem. And if you ask yourself if I really read all those books, so the answer is definitely no, no, no. I wish, I hope, and I'm still dreaming on it, but it doesn't seem that I will have the time to do so. 
there are greater things to do in life, to live life, to spend time with your family, to teach your students, to go and see the sunrise and the sunset. There are other things to do except for learning Torah. We're learning Torah, charging our batteries, and going with that wisdom to go and shine the world with the light of Emunah and the knowledge that we gained and learned while learning. Thank you. May Hashem bless us all as one and shine upon us all and heal us all and protect us all. And may we all rise and shine with all our loved ones. Amen. Can you hear us? Thank you.